Hey, T-Sauce, Salty here. Wait, no, that's not the right info for this channel. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick tutorial video on how to install uBlock Origin for Firefox and how to turn on the feature that blocks YouTube's ad blocker blocker. This is actually really easy, so don't panic if you're a non-technical person, and it's a huge improvement to quality of life. I also want to disclaim that this is only for Firefox, and it's currently... October 22nd, 2023. So if you are not using Firefox or it's years and years later, then this method may not work. But as of now, this works quite well and it's actually really easy. So let's just jump right into it and I'll show you how to install the extension and ensure that you've got the little uh, setting to remove YouTube's ad blocker blocker. So I'm on Windows. And again, if you're not on Windows, then this tutorial may not apply to you. First of all, get your Firefox window up. Second of all, type the Alt key on your keyboard and watch the little menus up here just appear and pop up. You want to go to Tools, Add-ons, and Themes. You could also type Control-Shift-A, but it's just easier to show you visually by clicking on Add-ons and Themes. So right here, you want to go to this box that says search addons.mozilla.org. And you want to type uBlock Origin. And the reason I'm telling you to do it this way instead of going through Google is there are actually several pretender extensions that are trying to fool you. But if you go directly through addons.mozilla.org and this, you're almost guaranteed to get the right one the first time. Click on the little... Um, wow, why am I iphagic today? That's really annoying. Click on the little magnifying glass. So you can see there's this little maroon UO, uBlock Origin shield right here. You can see it has 6.8 million users, and it's on the Mozilla recommended list. This is the one you want. Click on this one. Then you can just click on this Add to Firefox button right here. Which spider? You got the champion or the legend? No, the 5V. And then it says, would you like to add uBlock Origin? Yep, that's what we want. That's what we're here for. This is what we're trying to do. Click Add. Don't, uh, don't hurt your legs. They will break. It says it was added. I, I keep burner Perfect. So I'm just going to hit OK. We've successfully installed the extension. We don't need, or sorry, the add-on. We don't need this window anymore. We also don't need the add-ons manager. We found the add-on that we needed. OK, we're just back to our regular Mozilla Firefox, but... I don't know if you were watching closely. Something has changed. There is a little UO shield over here now. That is our uBlock origin telling us that it's here and it's ready to go. So let's check on one more thing. I am not entirely certain that this copy of uBlock origin add-on that I just installed has the special little setting that blocks YouTube's ad blocker blocker. So let me click on this. And then there's these three little gears down here. I'm going to click on the three little gears. And it shows me this settings page. Now click on filter lists. And look in this uBlock filters. Look for uBlock filters quick fixes. This line right here. uBlock filters quick fixes. Make sure that the blue check mark is there. So you can see the blue check mark is not there under uBlock Filters Quick Fixes, so make sure it's there. And right here where the little clock is, this little button right here might be a yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it. And if it is, you can click on it to update the uBlock Filters Quick Fixes. And it will update just this list. It won't try and update the whole plugin or all the filters, because that could take a long time. Just update the one you need, uBlock Filters Quick Fixes, and then once you hover over the little clock, it says last update a minute ago, meaning that you have the uh, YouTube ad blocker blocker most recent update. Now let me show you that it actually works. Let's go to YouTube and actually look at a video. Does it really matter which one we click on? I think probably not. I honestly, I do like Urban Rescue Ranch. I think it's pretty entertaining. And I believe his videos are monetized, although that doesn't seem to matter much to YouTube anymore. So let's just click on this and see if we get an ad. 
<laughs> no ad. I'm about I push you in that Video just starts. He's a survivor. I got bit by a ringtail. Which is not legal. <laughs> These guys love just sitting in here. Look at this catch. Okay, so there you go. That is an easy way to install uBlock Origin, which is a fantastic ad blocker. And let me just deliver a little bit of meta commentary at the end here. First of all, I'm not against creators at all. In fact, I am a YouTube creator, as you can tell by the fact that you're watching this on my YouTube channel. I'm going to drop in the description the first link, a link to Lewis Rossman's video on how YouTube shares almost no revenue that they get from ads with their creators. We're very lucky as a creator to get a few pennies. We don't get dollars. We get a few pennies for each of our videos. So anyone who tells you that anti-ad block thing is against creators, it's not true. As a creator, I'm telling you that. Lewis Rossman, who is also a very successful YouTuber, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of views on his amazing content, will also tell you that having an ad blocker does not fuck over content creators. It is YouTube who is doing the fucking over of content creators. Okay? Second thing that I want to say is that we are in the middle or maybe in the early stages of an arms race between content creators, YouTube, and users. Users and content creators want their videos to be, want to watch videos, or creators want to create videos that people watch, and users want to watch good videos made by good creators. YouTube itself, the platform, doesn't give a fuck at all. They just want as much money as possible and they don't care how badly they fuck over either the people who create the videos or the people who watch them. That's why there are 10 minutes of ads, in some cases, on a two-minute video. That's why mid-roll ads are so annoying and so intrusive. Advertisers who hate users and watchers of videos know that they are incredibly intrusive, annoying, and you can't take your attention away from them. No, so no YouTube is not doing any favors for creators. They are not doing any favors for viewers. And ultimately, they are destroying their platform. People are just going to go somewhere else. They might go to Twitch. Right now, you've probably heard it in the background. I'm watching one of my favorite MechWarrior Online streamers named Waifu Baiku, who's a lot of fun. So this arms race between executives and advertisers at YouTube, which is a war on creators and on viewers, has no winners. If YouTube succeeds in pushing more ads in everyone's faces, People will just abandon them and go to different platforms. There are no winners here. Everyone is losing. And that's why I'm here telling you right now, as a creator, do not believe YouTube's lies or the lies of advertisers when they tell you that ad blockers are a bad thing. All right? I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're staying salty, my friends. And that's all I can do for this quick video. Got way too much shit to do in my life.